How accurate was your NFL isometric projections? What was your percentage of success? Pete Swanson, that's a good question. There's many people in this thread. I don't know if Jesse's listening, but we, we hit up to 91.5% accuracy consistently. It kind of scared us, but it wasn't iso- it wasn't just isometric projections. That was a very small deal. Office, we had to create a whole new a substrate to the Office software. We called it Game Seer. It had a slightly different uh, operating protocol that was just for NFL because it wouldn't apply to anything else. NFL has a structuring based in sevens that we had to we had to code Office around, which was very difficult because. Uh, it's not like games are being played all the time. They're all uh, uh, every day of the week. They're being played only on Saturdays, Sundays, Thursdays, Monday nights. So, and they rotate them all, and it's very difficult. It's based off date sequence prediction analytics, but it's a special species that I designed that goes pretty much against the norm, including other protocols that I use as filters to, to knock out ghost projections. But we had to wrap that around games here. So, uh... Another thing, another thing that, that I don't believe that it's possible to maintain over 90% in NFL predictions. I believe that they have been doing this for a very long time. I even posted on Facebook before I got kicked off. I posted a thread that was found on Facebook where it was admitted legally in court by NFL that they rig games and that they have a legal entitlement to do it because it's classified as entertainment. And uh, that right there made a lot of sense to me. And that was the exact same time when we just shut it down anyway because we, we had to program a glitch out of there. It kept popping up when it wasn't supposed to. And we wanted to code Office to be more user-friendly. Uh, uh, I've had money donated to code Office and all that, but I've been through two coders, man, and I'm, I'm really fed up with both of them now. So uh, I don't... It's, it, I'm going to get around to it. I'm probably going to use proceeds from Archaic since it's taken off now and I'm growing fast. I'll probably use our, uh, proceeds from Archaics to bring a coder right into this room right here because apparently if I don't sit on top of them, I'll never get anything done. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bitter about that. I don't even want to talk about it right now. But, yeah, we, uh, we were doing really good, too, discovering different methods for market swings on, on the cryptocurrencies. But... The, the version I had at the time was so difficult because I was using all these spreadsheets and half a program, so the coding was necessary to put it all in, make it user-friendly, so anybody can sit here and operate it. I don't have to sit here and waste all my time. I can train somebody to do that while I do archaics. That was my plan from the very beginning. It just hasn't worked out that way. So right now I'm just running with archaics until it builds up enough to where I can hire another coder, get over here, and I can babysit him for about three days until we get this thing done. So that's, that's where I'm at with that.